Welcome families. It's Gisa from Butterfly Garden Preschool and today we're going to read a story called Tide Pool Secrets by Narelle Oliver. Down on the rocky shore, waves crash and smash. Then the tide goes out and the sea is calm. It's a good time to explore the tide pools. At first glance, there's nothing much to see, but the tide pools are full of secrets. Nestled among the rocks are anemones. Like flowers with sticky tentacles, they grasp and tug and cling. Now they look like blobs of jelly. Sometimes at very low tide, the anemones are uncovered. They retract their tentacles to stay moist. Empty shells are strewn about. Once they were soft mollusks inside them. They are gone now, but something is curled up and hiding. Let's see what's hiding. It's a hermit crab. An empty shell is its new house, moving with it like a mobile home until the crab grows too big. Then when it finds a bigger empty shell, it will squeeze out of the old one and into the new. Not all tide pool crabs hide. Not all tide pool crabs hide in shells. Can you see the decorator crab? It disappears by playing dress up. Carefully, it uses its claws to stick seaweed pieces on its little hooks and spikes. Soon, the crab blends in with the rocks and plants around it. Then it keeps still. Deeper down in the tide pool, something shoots like a rocket into the tangle of seaweed. It's a shrimp. With a body as clear as a bubble, it wafts this way and that in its leafy secret place. Holes and crevices and rocks make good secret places too. Speckled eyes peek out from a miniature cave a tiny shrimp floats by. Out flashes a goby. In a blink, its big mouth snaps up a feast. Then it goes back to its hiding hole. This sea star doesn't need a hole to hide in. It looks just like the rock it's on. Can you find it? Lots of suction cup feet cement its bumpy body to the rock's surface. To move, the sea star uses its suction feet to shuffle along. Whoosh! An inkjet streams into the water and makes a swirling cloud. Something has disappeared in the patch of darkness. It's an octopus! When it's disturbed, ink and water squirt from an opening in its head. That's how the octopus escapes danger. There's no inky cloud to hide the sea slug. Its blobby body melts into the rock's shape and its frilly top, all, and its frilly top sways with the seaweed. The mottled sea slug fits right in. Can you see its outline? Out on the tide pool edge, turban sea snails lie still in the sun. They keep themselves moist and safe by shutting their shells tight sealed with a lid called a cat's eye. Off they go. The tide has turned and the sea is rising toward them. When they are underwater, the turban snails don't need to hide. They graze the rocks for algae with their cat's eye tucked behind their shell. Minute by minute, the tide creeps higher. The tide pools become deeper and wider, but there's still time. Can you find the tide pool secrets? There are lots of reasons tide pool creatures may be difficult to see at first glance. Some are hiding from other animals. Others are sheltering from the waves. They might jam themselves between rocks or take cover in little caves or in deeper tide pools where the waves cannot reach as easily. Some nestle in thick cushions of seaweed. 
Shallow tide pools far from the sea may escape the bashing waves, but they can become too hot, too cold, too salty, or not salty enough for many of the tide pool creatures. So most of the creatures go deeper, which means that when you visit a tide pool, you may have to wait till low tide to see them. I want to know which tide pool animals are your favorite. Will you draw me a picture of a couple of your favorite tide pool sea animals? And you can either write a comment below and let me know what your favorite sea creatures are, or you can post on Instagram at Butterfly Garden Preschool pictures of your favorite sea animals. We can't wait to see your pictures. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you can be informed of our next lesson.